Welcome back warriors, Kwee Tansei Sego. My name is Pam Palmiter and this is my YouTube channel where we focus on educating the resistance and inspiring the next generation of warriors to help us save our people and the planet. Today's video is an introduction to a really exciting new project I have that's all related to reconciliation with Indigenous peoples and what you can do to advance reconciliation. So stay tuned so you can find out how you can be a part of this exciting new collaborative and interactive educational journey. YouTube channel where you're going to be the first to learn about my new educational series that promotes reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. I've received a ton of email and social media messages from Canadians and even Americans about what they can do to help advance reconciliation. Their primary concern seems to be that they were not educated about these issues in school, they haven't learned about it in their jobs and in their current life, and they want to know more and they want to know how they can help. And I always answer the question the same way. The first most important step is to self educate. That's right. Most Canadians and Americans come from a background of some degree of privilege. They've had a public education, they've been able to access college and or university, they work in various professions, they have access to things like libraries, bookstores, and computers for example. So all you have to do is dedicate a little bit of time to learning more about Indigenous peoples and our current issues. So to advance the goal of reconciliation, I'm starting a reconciliation book club. In this video series, I will choose a book every month that talks about important issues that are impacting Indigenous peoples today and I will share my review of that book. Now the primary focus will be on Indigenous authors because our voices have been silenced and have been ignored for many many decades and there are a ton of great Indigenous authors in Canada, the United States and all over the world in fact who have a great deal to share with us and I think the best place to learn about Indigenous issues are from Indigenous peoples themselves. But I'm also going to include some books written by our allies who have written really important works to stand in solidarity with Indigenous peoples and help advance our causes. But this is going to be more than just a book review video. So here's how it'll work. The first thing I'm going to do is give you a heads up every month about the book that I plan to review the next month. I will put the link to the book's uh, information in my description box below, links to where you can buy it or borrow it or some of the books are actually open access so you can download them for free. Then read the book and think about it and leave all of your questions, comments and impressions in the comment section after this video for the first book and then after successive videos for successive books. That way what I can do is address and incorporate some of your questions and feedback before I make the video of the review of the book. The goal here is to help you on your self education journey and for you to know that you're not the only one doing it. There will be lots of people within this community doing it at the same time and I will help address and provide analysis to some of the issues in each of these books by providing a book review at the very end. The idea is to have a national, even an international conversation about the important reconciliation work that needs to be done. And we know government is not doing it. So we, the people, we are the true government. We need to stand up and take control of this situation, learn more and find out how we can do more. So for my very first reconciliation book club review, I'm going to be reviewing this book, Whose Land Is It Anyway? A Manual for Decolonization. It is inspired entirely by the late native warrior Arthur Manuel, and this was edited by Peter McFarlane and Nicole Chavez. 
And there are some great writers in this book, and there's even a surprise writer that we'll talk about when we do the review. And for this first book review, you're all in luck because this book is available entirely open access, which means free online. And what I will do is I will post a link in the description box below so that you can access it as an ebook or a PDF file and then read it at your leisure. What I'll also do is leave a link to my website, which is pampalmeter.com, where I have a whole bunch of other resources that you can read in your own time. They won't be part of the review, but I'll be referring to them from time to time, both in my review of these books, but also in my regular YouTube video series. And I want to offer a special thank you to all of the people who watch my videos, who share them, who comment, who make suggestions, and also who offer kind words of support and encouragement. It's because of all of you that I've been inspired to continue this and to ramp up my YouTube series so that I can help educate all of our allies and all of our young people coming up so that we're all on board for taking action for social justice, climate justice, and Indigenous rights in general. I really learn a lot from you all and I want to thank you and I hope that this will continue to be a two-way education process. Now, don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're the first to know every time I release a new YouTube video. So get reading and I will see you in a few weeks in the Reconciliation Book Club.